Hey guy, what's up? It's uh, Sunday morning, which is weird because I've never done a contest on a Sunday morning in my life, so my days are completely screwed up right now. Um, so everything went great last night. Uh, the reheating, the loading, or whatever you want to call it, um, I feel good about it. Um, with the bed happy. Um, weight went up. I think I, came, I went to bed about 196, 197. Uh, woke back up this morning really dry um, it was a 192 um, I cut my water about 10 o'clock last night um, and then ate one more meal after that so at this point I'm not that I, I didn't cut sodium I just cut back on sodium so I did I wasn't doing the fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt anymore yesterday uh, to dry me out a little bit more uh, and then today, this morning, I'm going to reintroduce a lot more sodium. I mean, it's going to be sodium loaded all day long because uh, obviously I've cut water at this point. Uh, so this morning's breakfast, because I am dry as shit and, a and, and somewhat flat, you know, I need to fill out a little bit more. Uh, so more caloric density. Um, you got hamburger patties here. These are actually 90%. So you got about 10, 11 grams of fat per patty. And I got two patties here. Um, so it's about 20 grams of fat, uh, and then I have some bagels, uh, you're going 50 grams of carbs, you know, lots of sodium, about 500 milligrams of sodium in these. These burgers have salt all over them, uh, seasoning, uh, and then a couple rice cakes. Uh, so you're looking at about, you know, 80 to 90 grams of carbs this meal. Uh, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, pre judging starts at noon, uh, and since I'm doing bodybuilding and classic physique, I'll be on stage first at noon and then they'll have all the bodybuilding the bikini division and then I'll go back on stage right after that um, in classic physique uh, so I'm going to eat one more big meal probably about an hour and a half before pre-judging make sure it's settled in my stomach uh, probably something as simple as uh, Applegate Farms turkey which is high in sodium which I've been eating on and off through prep uh, and some rice uh, something just simple something easy on my stomach uh, and then, because there's only going to probably be a, a little bit of time between bodybuilding and classic physique, um, it depends on what I look like, what I feel like, how much I had to pose in bodybuilding. Uh, I'm going to either do, you know, I brought a Snickers bar, I got a salted uh, uh, pita chips, um, it's just some easy digestible, uh, you know, calorie dense food that can get to my system really quick if I need to, you know. Put something in me after the posing uh, because sometimes obviously you get depleted depending on how long you're up there uh, and the water will stay cut uh, and we'll record some more you know after pre-judging let you guys know how it went and then I'll show you what I'm eating after them all right oh uh, what's up guys uh, it's after pre-judging obviously um, so things went really well um, as far as peaking loading uh, Everything that I was hoping for uh, basically went off, you know, without a hitch. So couldn't be more pleased. Uh, I got two meals in me uh, this morning before pre-judging, which is what I was looking for to kind of keep that empty feeling. You know, the meal one you saw earlier was uh, the 9010 lean ground beef, two patties, a bagel, and like four rice cakes with some peanut butter. So you're looking at. You know, about 25, 30 grams of fat, about 30, gram, 30 to 40 grams of protein, and about 100 grams of carbs. Took my weight two hours after that. It didn't budge. I didn't really expect to because water's been cut. Um, so my next meal was two cups of rice, uh, six ounces of deli meat because I wanted a lot of sodium in this next meal. And I probably took in probably, I would estimate, 7,000 milligrams of sodium in my first two meals. Uh, and it really helped a lot. I mean, probably an hour after that second meal, uh, I tightened up a lot more. I got fuller. Vascularity started coming out more. Uh, I was really happy with it. I ate that about an hour and a half before stage time. Um, and then no more food until I, uh, I pumped up a little bit, did some posing. So I hit the stage for bodybuilding first, open division and light heavies. Um, I'm expecting to win that class, um, and you know we'll see for the overall. There's a, there's there's two really good competitors, one middleweight and one um, uh, heavyweight uh, that 
are really good and competitive, so um, we'll see what happens there, obviously. Um, and then in the classic division, you know, I pretty much I think I, I have that division. Um, uh, but again, it's going for the overall. Uh, and there's one guy that I'm against, a uh, really tall guy. Uh, I'm guessing he's like 6'3 or something like that, but he's got really good shape. Uh, really good line, so he, he fits his division really well. So he's going to be my hardest competition in the overall. Um, you know, stuff I can't control. You know, I'm still going to bring the best package that I can bring tonight because we're going to be judged again. So this is my first meal after pre-judging, and I'm staying, you know, conservative, keeping it clean for the most part. I'm eating a 90-10 ground beef patty uh, and a bagel, and then I'll get one more meal in. Uh, probably about 40 grams of carbs, 30 grams of protein, a little bit of fat, nothing crazy. Uh, and then I'll have like a 16 ounce Diet Coke for a little bit of hydration um, because I don't want to keep you know, pushing fluid out. I need a little bit and the caffeine will have a little di diuretic effect anyways. Um, my wife, got it right this time, uh, did fantastic. She's uh, top two, she's either first or second. Again, you know, it's subjective sport, so it could go either way. I mean, I think obviously I think she won, um, but the other girl's very competitive as well. So right now we did what we we should have done. Um, she looked fantastic, it's the best she's ever looked. Her presentation was on point, posing was on point. I'm very proud of her. She did what she was supposed to do. Um, it was a very smooth prep for both of us. So we're really happy, regardless of you know where where we place. Uh, of course, we want to win. Uh, but regardless, we're happy with everything. Um, you have anything you want to say? She's eating too, obviously you can see that. She has a mouthful. Mm -hmm. No, I'm very pleased too. Pre-judging went well. Like he said, this is the smoothest prep that we've had and we'll have eight more weeks after this for Junior USA. So this is a good experience to get back on stage since it's been a year and a half to two years. So. I'm excited for tonight. I'm not going to be disappointed either way. We both brought our best, and that's all you can do. Yeah, so obviously we'll get some recording done right after the show, uh, the results and whatnot. And then we are taking a little break um, for some rest to reboot uh, for a week. I mean, we'll still work out, and we're not going to binge and go stupid with food. Yes, we'll eat out some, enjoy some food. Um, but we'll still be cooking our own meals, not measuring really anything, not going crazy. But if we want some sushi, if we want to go out to a nice dinner, a little bit of popcorn at the movies, we're going to have it this week. You know, we've been dieting for the last 12 weeks. Um, so our bodies are going to do well with the extra food and it needs it, and especially with eight more weeks until the next show. So we can't just keep dieting. Right? We actually will look worse and shut our metabolism down. So we're going to take the week off after this, enjoy some downtime. Uh, some personal time together away. Uh, so the next part you'll see is hopefully us holding our trophies. Uh, we'll go from there. Hey guys, what's up? Um, so we just ate at the yard house. Obviously this is after the show is done, finals are over. Um, and I'll speak for myself first. I don't talk about us both, but um, I couldn't. I'm really elated right now. Um, after uh, competing for 23 years, yeah, 23 years, I've never won it overall. And to finally get that in bodybuilding, you know, this is my last, this is going to be my last bodybuilding show, regardless, and transitioning into class of physique that, uh, I'm really happy and couldn't feel any more accomplished, at, at, accomplished that piece that, uh, uh, that I'm leaving bodybuilding, uh, that part of the division is behind in, on a, such a positive note. So, you know, I couldn't be happier with uh, the overall victory there. And now transitioning to Classic where I won my class, um, lost overall by one point, but you know, it's it's... It was fine. The guy was very uh, was symmetrical portion, so you know it is what it is. It happens, but you know I'm moving in the right direction. Um, so couldn't be happy with that. Uh, now for my wife, this is me being um, biased too. I think she should have won, but you know how that sport goes. Um, proud of her, it's the best she's looked ever. Um, 
It has been a great prep for both of us. It's been a good journey so far. And it's, you know, it's just starting because we have Junior USA's in eight weeks. Um, so I'll let her talk about how she feels about everything. I feel great. I mean, a lot of times it's a matter of pre preference and you have to be strong in a subjective sport. And I felt that I brought my best. I thought my presentation was on point. I think there's still some little tweaks that I could do to my posing to improve. And I will look to be a little bit tighter, a little bit leaner for Junior USA's, but overall, I can't complain. I had a great experience, and honestly, what was most important was to support him, and um, I'm so happy that he decided to cross over into bodybuilding, and it's just, um, <laughs> just get all the and wrong, you know. Um, I felt a little, it was a little flush just because, you know, after I've been in a bunch of overalls and sometimes I thought I should have won and obviously never, it just never happened. So you just get to that point to where, you know, you, you just think, okay, well, it, it's another overall. I'm not going to win it again. So it is what it is. So when they, honestly, when they announced my name, I was kind of taken back and shocked a little bit because it was competitive uh, and went backstage and just, Felt a little flushed and whatnot, uh, in a good way, but it is what it is, and I'm happy with everything. Uh, now that it's over, it's time for a little break. Vegas! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we enjoyed, obviously, our dinner at the art house. I had a couple appetizers, sandwich, my sweet potato fries. You know, didn't, we are not full by any means. Barbecue stuff. chicken pizza. We, we feel good. We'll enjoy some food this week, rest a little bit, and then in a week, right back to work, and we'll start filming everything leading into the big show or the bigger shows you know depending on how they go it's junior usa's junior nationals and then masters nationals for myself uh so we'll, we may do a little bit in vegas but you know we'll see uh so until then we'll see you